Hey church, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Um, my name's Joel, I'm part of the Central Campus, and today I'm going to be giving a devotion on a passage from the Gospel of Luke. It's the Advent season, one of my favourite times of year, and I do try and read Luke in every Advent season, so this is really a treat for me. Um, let me remind you of the passage we're going to look at. Um, it's from Luke chapter 2, and specifically verses 9 through 14. It goes as follows. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests or in another translation would be peace and goodwill towards men so that's Luke 2 verse 9 to 14 so what about this passage we heard in the last devotion about shepherds um, a group which are literally on the edge of of Judean society with a very unsociable occupation they protect their flock 24 hours a day from the threat of wild animals, boar, wolves, lions. There's, there's no nine to five here. It's a dangerous existence as a shepherd back in ancient Israel. And these were the most common of men, generally considered unclean by society because of the work they did. You know, they were in daily contact with dirty, smelly animals, with manure, with flies, with blood. Um, and, you know, they're really treated as outsiders. And what I love about this passage, this passage in Luke 2, is that God makes it clear again, as he's done before in, in the Bible, that human effort or the prestige of those the world looks to are nothing when he's not at the centre of events. And this is really in keeping with God's approach throughout history. He routinely involves people the world deems to be unimportant or not special to accomplish great things. We're reminded of that in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 27 where it says, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. We see that you know the first people to hear about Jesus' birth, the Messiah, they're not royalty, military leaders, academics, or socialites of the time. So you know the ancient equivalent of celebrities or influencers or professional sports people, uh, kings and queens, they're instead the most common of men, dirty shepherds who inhabit the fringes of society. And the passage goes on to tell us about how they were told about Jesus' birth with an angel appearing to them, a throng of angels worshipping God. And you can imagine that, you know, what we've just learned about shepherds, they're pretty tough guys. But the Bible makes a point of telling us that they were absolutely terrified, as we might all be when presented with a being which is not of this world, an angel, surrounded by the glory of God. And the original Greek translation of this passage uses the word doxa, for glory, which can be translated as the unspoken manifestation of God. I love that. I don't know what that description evokes in you, um, but I love how that speaks to how speechless the shepherds might have been and how experiencing that would have impacted them. This really should encourage us to expect surprises in our own lives, no matter what your circumstances, your age, uh, how you feel about yourself, how you think the world or other people look at you, looks at you. God wants you involved in the story just as God wanted the shepherds involved right at the start of the greatest story ever told he's got a plan and a purpose for me he's got a plan and a purpose for you in the good news of Jesus Christ I hope that encourages you I hope you have a great week a great Advent season and do, do tune in um, to the devotion the next devotions to find out more about the Christmas story